Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. So today's project is making a tool post drill. And what I need this for is the backing plate of the Shars 3-jaw chuck. Now at this point you may have already seen the video on making this backing plate. If you haven't, I'll leave a link up on the screen. And what I'm needing to do is on this outer adjustment ring on the perimeter, I need to drill and tap four holes for the adjustment screws. And my plan is to hold this outer plate in the chuck in this fashion, index the spindle, and come in from the side with the tool post drill. And my idea for this very simple tool post drill is to use my boring bar holder, which has a three quarter inch bore. I'll need to create a sleeve. I'm going to use this piece of 304 stainless. I need to turn the diameter down to three quarters of an inch to fit inside the boring bar holder. And I will drill and ream it to accept a couple bronze bushings. The spindle of the drill will be a piece of drill rod that fits in the bushings. Then I'll be able to chuck the drill rod in my cordless drill and be able to drill uh, in that fashion. Now for the spindle to hold the drill bits, I'm going to drill and ream a quarter inch to accept a number three center drill on one end. Then on the other end, I will drill and ream for the tap drill size for the set screws that I'm using for the adjustment, which are a quarter 28. Now I'm not sure what the tap drill size is for that and I'll have to look it up. Well, that's the project for today. Let's uh, head over to the lathe and get it built. All right, we got our stock in the three jaw. We're first going to turn down the diameter to three quarters of an inch. Then we'll part it off and we'll face it to length. All right, so the boring bar holder fits on there just for giggles. Let's mic it and see how close to three quarters of an inch we got. Overshot. Shouldn't be an issue though. All right, we got our sleeve in the four jaw centered up. Now we're going to drill and ream it 
to accept those bushings. And the outside diameter of those bushings is a half inch. And we're going to drill and ream it with a half inch or a one thousandth undersize reamer. That way we can get a good press fit. All right, next we're gonna make the spindle. And for that, we're gonna use our new handy dandy collet attachment, 3C collet attachment. And we'll leave a link to that in the video. So we'll get that tightened down. We need to face it off, face off both ends, and then we'll drill it to accept a number three center drill. All right, off camera, I went and ahead and pressed in the bushings. And I also made the shaft for the drill. And then I Loctited both the number three center drill and the tap drill size into their respective shanks. Now we can take our sleeve and tighten it down in our boring bar holder. Put our center drill in, make sure we're on center. And here I just have a piece of 3 8 uh, aluminum stock. We're going to see if we can get a, a cross hole in it. You can't see it off camera, but I'm putting the, uh, the shank into my cordless drill. There we have it. 
perfect cross hole, cross drilled hole. That'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.